Aries, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018. And before we jump in, Aries, remember all of the dates of everything happening in December, January, and all through 2019 are on the blog at stormygrace.com. And the 45,000 subscriber gift is still up, so you have a little bit more time to take advantage of that. 15 minute appointment for $15 to say thank you for 45,000 subscribers on this channel. So hopefully I'll be sitting with some of you very, very soon. All right, Aries, so we are collecting all of the information that we have used all year long and we're going to end the year nice and strong and I love it because we're actually coming into December where we've got Uranus who's in retrograde and back in your sign so this is the last little piece of reevaluation. you'll actually have this energy until March but it's it's like the last pieces of reevaluation of who you think you are who you thought you are and who you want to be going forward now coming into the month having Uranus here in your sign look back over where have you come from right where have you as a person who you thought you were going to be what you thought life was going to look like where have you come from and where are you going to be ready to take some new actions to launch yourself out into the world differently Uranus has come to shake it up just a little bit and maybe you've had these remaining little ideas of having to be something or that things were supposed to look a certain way and Uranus is coming to say poo poo on that we need to shift that out of the way because the brand new Aries is getting ready Ready to be available. That becomes important when we look at what's going on in the month, okay? So let's just jump right on in here. Now, at the beginning of the month on the second, we've got Venus who is now out of retrograde. She's in the sign of Scorpio and this lights up the eighth house space for you. Now, we've also got Mercury who is retrograde in this house as well. So this is kind of an interesting push-pull energy that we've got going here. Now, with Venus retrograde though here in Scorpio in the eighth house, she likes to bring abundance. Remember, Venus Venus likes money. She likes things that feel good. So in the eighth house, you could have money coming to you that you did not necessarily earn. So whether that be a grant, a loan, um, sponsorship, collaboration money that comes your way, um, whatever that looks like, you could have money coming to you that you didn't earn. Of course, this could have to do with um, a partner or a spouse's money as well. An inheritance could be coming your way. Whatever it is, Venus likes the abundance of money. So she could definitely be bringing it that way. On a relationship level, because Venus does come to harmonize and she really does care about romance, in the eighth house space, this could be bringing a little zip and zing back to your romantic table. It could be brightening and bringing some harmony to your intimacy, to your sexuality. I do think because Mercury is retrograde here at this time, if you needed to seek some counseling or do some reevaluation of either your finances or maybe something intimate in your life, that Mercury retrograde is actually very helpful here for you to do the counseling, get into the psychology, sit down, get a reading, doing something like that. It's actually very, very helpful, okay? Now, when we get to the sixth of the month, we see Mercury actually um, coming direct in Scorpio. So it's just got a couple days from the second to the sixth when we see Mercury actually changing directions and then both Venus and Mercury are forward motion here in your eighth house. Now with Mercury being um, forward motion here coming direct, first of all, keep in mind that just because Mercury is coming direct on this day, does it mean that you have full abundance of Mercury's blessings, right? Mercury is coming direct, but he still has to finish his shadow time and wake up quite slowly. You know, I say he's got to have his cosmic latte stretch and then resume his orbit. So right here, while Mercury is coming direct, the thinking, the communication, um, any the decision making around the eighth house could be starting to come back online. You'll have a little bit more forward thinking. Everybody's not looking backwards anymore we're starting to all move forward so this could definitely help you speaking about an intimate issue speaking about anything in the eighth house speaking about finance maybe a contract a negotiation or something like that if you have sponsorship of course you want to look very much so over those contracts okay so it will definitely help put a little communication and clarity back on the table now, when we get to the seventh, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius. So loading up the top part of your chart, we've also got the sun and we've got Jupiter who's recently just moved into Sagittarius, kind of come home. Um, so this is a lot of new, fresh energy because the sun is bringing light, heat, life, vitality. You wanna be seen here. The new moon is the fresh beginning. You plant the seeds of intention here in this ninth house space to begin something new here. So the ninth house, the very first thing I think of is faith. 
right? You're going to have to have a whole new level of faith. You're trying to gain faith here. But how do you gain faith? You don't gain faith by just hoping things work out. You gain faith by taking action, right? So this could be maybe you're launching that YouTube channel now, publishing, broadcasting, marketing, expanding yourself out in any way, um, education for my students, training, certifications, getting that book out there, whatever it is that gets you more expanded out, you're going to definitely want to be seen and have a lot of energy to shine here. This also includes um, travel. You know, if you were going to be having travel plans or you've got Mercury and Venus in the eighth house, maybe someone in your life is traveling, right? This gives a lot of abundant blessing to that as well. Now on the 12th, we've got Mercury who is now direct and he is moving into Sagittarius as well. So you see what I'm saying? If you're publishing, marketing, broadcasting, podcasting, putting anything out there, Mercury has now showed up and he says, boom, here's a little bit of extra communication um, energy to help you get that done. Here's a little bit of extra communication energy to make sure that flight is on time, or at least if it's not, everybody has all of the information because Mercury is not retrograde anymore. So it's really helping the communication, the thinking, the study, the decision making in this ninth house space. And I'm telling you, I just feel like it's so beautiful for you putting yourself out in some way, shape or form, Aries, maybe in a way that you didn't, okay? On the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in Cancer. The full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So we're going to see a shift in this fourth house zone. So something or someone in your home zone could be taking a shift. You know, the fourth house, I tend to think of maybe there's a woman in your life and there's something going on with her, and that's creating shift in your home. Of course, the full moon could be that you're moving or you're changing your housing zone in some way, shape, or form, but it's certainly a place where with the full moon, I think the adjustment in the end that's coming out is that there's a new foundation created in your home life out of this shift. And I say that too, because then right behind this, we've got the sun moving into um, Capricorn. It's going to be Capricorn season, okay? So what's happening then is that the sun is bringing light, heat, life, and vitality, and please see me, please see me to the top of your chart. You want to be seen in your career. And while you're being seen up here in your career, the opposing energy is going to be in the fourth house. So there may be shift. Maybe there's a solid shift in what's happening in your home life and that gives you space to have life in your career. Whatever it is, that home life work balance is definitely going to go under a little bit of shift as we're here at the end of December. But what I think again is so phenomenal is that Uranus has come back into Aries. You're going to be able to show up to these issues, situations, challenges, whatever comes up for you in all of these shifting areas differently. It's like you're bigger, you're more free, you're more expansive. So whatever's happening, Aries, you've got a whole lot of show up in your back pocket this month that I can't wait to see how you use it to end the year and get ready to jump into 2019 where career becomes the business for you, right? Oh, career becomes the business. I wasn't even trying to be funny. <laughs> All right, Aries, I love you guys a ton. It has been a pleasure to spend this last year and every year before that with you guys. I hope we traveled beautifully. We learned together this year. And I hope this video gives you some dates and some timing to work with as well. For more astrological transits and aspects, check it out at the blog at stormygrace.com. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon, okay? Bye, Aries.